Hello and welcome. Sometimes God's voice is clear and unmistakable. He might give you a verse that directly answers your question, or you might hear the Holy Spirit speak to your heart. However, there are times when God's guidance is more subtle. Here are three signs that God is speaking to you, even if it's not obvious. First, not getting a clear answer can be an answer in itself. Imagine you're asking God whether you should move to a new city. You explore the possibility, but every apartment you inquire about falls through. Or perhaps you've been considering starting a new ministry. You share the idea with others, but there's no enthusiasm or support. In these situations, the lack of a clear answer might be God's way of telling you to stay where you are. Psalm 32 verse 8 says, I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you with my eye upon you. If God isn't giving you direction, it might mean you should remain in your current path. Second, if something is neither encouraged nor forbidden in Scripture, God often guides you through your conscience. For example, the Bible doesn't specifically address modern-day issues like social media use. It doesn't promote it, but it also doesn't prohibit it. Or consider making a significant financial investment. The Bible doesn't explicitly mention investing in the stock market. In these cases, God may lead you through your conscience. As Romans 14 verse 23 states, whatever does not proceed from faith is sin. If you feel uneasy about a decision, it might be the Holy Spirit guiding you to wait or reconsider. Third, sometimes your problem is actually your solution. You might be praying for relief from a difficult situation at work, thinking it's a hindrance. But what if this challenge is God's way of building your resilience and skills? Or perhaps you're struggling with a difficult family relationship. You pray for resolution, but instead, God uses this situation to teach you patience and unconditional love. As 2 Corinthians 12 verses 8 to 10 explains, Paul asked God to remove his thorn, but God responded, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Sometimes, the very thing you want removed is what God will use to strengthen you. So, when you don't hear God's voice clearly, remember these subtle signs. He might be guiding you through the absence of an answer, your conscience, or your current struggles. Stay faithful and trust in His plan. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more inspirational content.